It's evil when you think it, baby, so I'm telling the truth You live it, then you see it, you breathe it, then you be it I tell you little secret, it's a secret Government, they worship an owl They practice witchcraft to harness their power And we appreciate you joining us today Not a problem, Alex, man, I'm a big fan well, we're, we're a fan of your work. A lot of people constantly ask me, and we're going to break here in a minute, about Illuminati, Illuminati. They see Jay-Z, all these rappers doing you know, all these weird Illuminati symbols. I mean, to me, you know, uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely not a joke, man. There's it, 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 a lot of real stuff going on out here in this, in this world. It, secret societies are real. You know, um, it's definitely very obvious, you know, that... Um, they at work and it's, it's at play in, in the music industry, in the food industry, politics, everywhere you turn is everywhere. Um, you just got to read the signs, you know what I mean? The writing on the wall, basically, it's all in front of your face, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, once people just learn about it and do a little research about it all, they'll be able to see like, oh, wow, this, yeah, I understand what's going on, you know what I mean? Absolutely. You've got the floor. Lay it out. Break it down. I mean, this, this reported letter uh, when you were set up and sent to prison for exercising your Second Amendment rights. I mean, did you write this letter? And because it's very poignant and, uh, you know, I agree with much of it. So uh, you got the floor. Yeah, yeah. I, I wrote a lot of letters while I was in there, man. Um, I was doing this thing for Vibe magazine, you know, um, just writing letters from from prison, just expressing myself and, and and things I wanted to get off my chest, things that were on my mind, and I wanted to let people know. And I wanted to show them, even though I was inside, you know, locked in a prison, you know, I wanted to show them that I still had no fear in my heart, you know, about speaking my mind and letting people know what time it is. There was there's no reason for me to fear because it's really nothing there's nothing they can do besides kill me and, and I'm not afraid of that you know what I mean like um I don't, I don't think right now they, they at the point where they would take it that far I think they like this plan that they got into effect and it's been in effect for hundreds of years or whatever I think it's so embedded in people's brains now they got people so brainwashed in this world that they don't even really care anymore you know what I mean about People like Alex Jones, people like Prodigy, like they're like, get ahead and tell the people all you want. We got we got these people so brainwashed, there's nothing you guys can do about it. That's how they feel, you know what I'm saying? And when I say they, I mean, you know, the power and the structures that's in place, you know, that's, that's there to control us, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, looking at it, well, well it's, it's twofold. 30, 40 years ago, if you talked about this, they would give you a fast-acting cancer. They would kill you. It's on record. Much of it's been declassified. But people still had courage and got the word out. And so because so many people spoke out, they've now flipped it and said, okay, we're growing the opium in Afghanistan. Okay, we're shipping the cocaine in. Okay, we're shipping the guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment. And so... They've decided to just to, to just go with the revelation of the method instead because they're desperate. But if we really try to shake people out of their trance, as you and others are doing across the board, they we can beat them if we can get people out of the trance they're in. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I, I always say like God always wins at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Uh, good always gonna be evil at the end of the day, man. No matter how bad it's looking, you know what I mean. No matter what's going on, you know what I mean. Um, good is always gonna win. You know what I mean? Um, but right now, you know what I mean. The devil definitely got the world in the headlock. You know what I mean? It, it's crazy. It's definitely crazy. And it's at the point where they got it. They got it so far. Like I said, they don't even care. They'll put it. They put it in all in our face. You know what I mean? The information. It's the information age. It's everywhere. It's all over the internet. What's going on? You know, it's all in these books. It's in movies. It's in. You know, it's all over the place. And. They got people so brainwashed, you know what I mean, with with, with all the, uh, you know, fashion and, you know, jewelry, especially like in the, in the hip-hop world, you know, in the hip-hop community, in the urban communities with, well, where, I can, where I come from, you know what I mean? They got us so brainwashed with, 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 with fashion, jewelry, and like, and, and sex, and, and all this stuff. We're like, we don't even care. 
to even think about what's going on. You know what I mean? Like it, a lot of a lot of the people that I'm around, like I look at them sometimes, and only concerned about is, is what I just said, like the fashion, the jewelry, the sex, all the stuff that is materialistic and stuff that like is not going to do nothing for their soul or their life. Well, you've had it all, and and you know it's not like I've had it all, but I mean I've had a lot of success, gotten to meet. Most of, I mean, most of the famous people in Hollywood at one time or another. And once you meet them and find out that it's nothing, it's not fulfilling. What What is fulfilling is having truth and information and decency and honor. And uh, but, but for folks that have never really had some form of notoriety or fame, which you've had much greater than I have, they can't understand it. They're, they're always scrambling for it, reaching for it. Do you agree with that statement? And, and what can you say to young people and others that feel unfulfilled because they're not somebody making ten million dollars a year like a top rap star? Man, I would say it's not all about that. Man, life, life is not about um, you know that chasing chasing that dream. Life, life is about you know what I mean being happy. You know what I mean? It's about it's about having. Uh, you know, a pure heart, pure soul, eating good, family, you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, love, you know what I'm saying? Like your relationship with your spouse or whatever. Um, you know, that, these are the things that life is about, raising your children properly, making sure that, you know, each generation gets better than the last one, you know, smarter and healthier than the last one, all of that. These are the things that life is about. It's not really about chasing all these crazy dreams, you know what I mean? Because, you know, even though people want, you know, it's, people want success, you know, every, every anybody wants to be successful, you know what I mean, in life and, and have some decent money where you can be comfortable and things like that. But, you know, some people really just take it too far and they get caught up in that whole money and success thing, you know what I mean? Yes, I think it's a, well, it's a, it's a hierarchy of needs. Success is great, as long as you don't compromise to get it, and as long as the success itself isn't the goal. Success in doing good, success in beautiful art, success in developing things, that's wonderful. The globalists, the controllers, create a false success and set up false icons for us so that we'll chase, basically, it's false idols. It's evil when you think it, baby, so I'm telling the truth. You live it, then you see it. You breathe it, then you be it. I tell you a little secret, it's a secret. Government, they worship an owl. They practice witchcraft to harness their power. Like Neo in The Matrix, uh, when Morpheus gives him the red pill, and he goes, look, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing else. Nah, exactly. So, you know... It, it, that's that's a difficult thing, you know, and I, and I find that real challenging, you know what I mean, growing up and, and uh, you know, dealing with the environment that I come from, you know, that street world where, you know, it's, it's <laughs> you know what I mean, it's real difficult to reach them, you know what I mean, so... Yeah, I had to learn the hard way that, you know, I could I just sit back and uh, the people that are around me that notice how, what I'm all about and the things that I learn and, you know, the things that I put in my music a lot and uh, those that want that change in their life, they'll come to me. I don't even have to find them. You know what I mean? Government, they worship an owl. They practice witchcraft to harness their power. Uh, we've seen uh, rappers in the media demonized uh, lately, uh, and, and you were one of the only people to actually come to their defense for calling out Obama. What's your view uh, of uh, President uh, Barack Obama? I mean, my view on him is that, you know, number one, you can't be a president of the United States unless you're part of this bloodline that they got going on that goes all the way back to, uh, you know what I mean, a U European uh, royalty, you know what I mean? Who believe um, that they're related to, to Jesus and Mary Magdalene. They're completely delusional. Yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? So they got this bloodline going on, and whether people believe it or not, it's very real. You know, you will not be an American president unless you are linked and part of this bloodline, and Obama is. You know, he's a part of that. That's why he was allowed in the, into the door. That's why he was placed where he's at now. Well, he's related you know to Cheney I mean? and Bush. Yeah. You and know. by the way, they're all related to everybody else. That's been confirmed. 
Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely linked. I, I heard a lot of people say, oh, well, all humans are related. No, no I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, uh, you know, first, third, fourth, fifth cousins. Like, I'm talking about very related. Like, this is your family. You know what I mean? Your mother is uh, this person's cousin. And, like, I'm talking about real related. Yeah, they would come to the family reunion that closely related. Well, it turns out that the that Bush and Kerry, particularly, even MSNBC did a breakdown. It's like I got a French bulldog. It's super related to all the French bulldogs. I mean, it turns out they're cousins on every side in every angle. Third cousins, fifth, ninth, tenth, fifteenth. I mean, it's just all related. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, Obama is a part of that. I'm like, wow, this is really a black candidate. Like, you know what I mean? It was, it was amazing to watch that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm, I'm black. I'm proud of my heritage. And it, it would be nice to see that. You know what I mean? That, that would be a beautiful thing. So I'm looking at everybody, though. And I'm watching the, uh, you know, the debates with the candidates when they debate each other and all that. And um, I'm really watching it close. I'm paying attention to what they're saying and what they represent. And I've seen do Ron Paul. And the things, certain things he was saying, you know what I mean? And I was like, hold up. Ron Paul is the only one up there, like, really exposing people. Like, he's really saying something. Nobody else is saying nothing like him. You know what I mean? And the whole media came after him. Uh, one of my staff got a, a, a professional poll call the other day, and it was, it, was, it was computerized. And they had the Republican candidates one through seven with Ron Paul at the end. He tried to vote for Ron Paul, and it wouldn't let him vote. And they've caught Fox News dubbing in booze over him when he wins the big straw polls. Absolutely. They, I mean, that's where you can tell. If the media is behind somebody, then you know they're bad. If the media is against somebody, you know they're good. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I had put it out there. I started doing interviews. They were like, yo, Prodigy, who you vote? You're voting for Obama? Because it was a popular thing in the rap community. So oh, vote for Obama, the first black president. He'll be the first black. You know, that was real popular. And a lot of people just followed like sheep. You know what I'm saying? So they asked me on the radio, oh, would you vote? who are you voting for? I said, if I was the vote, I would vote for Ron Paul. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they were like, what? They couldn't believe I said that. You know what I mean? Like, everybody in the hip-hop community, they were just like, oh, Prodigy, you crazy. The first black president, he's black. Vote for him because he's black. I'm like, you don't vote for a person because he's black, first of all. You know what I mean? You vote for a person, you know, no, no matter what their color is, you vote for them because of their intelligence and what they say they're going to do and, you know, what they are doing. And, and You know what I mean? Exactly. You don't, you don't judge somebody by the color of their skin, but by the character of their deeds. Exactly. It's evil when you think it, baby, so I'm telling the truth. You live it, then you see it. You breathe it, then you be it. I tell you a little secret, it's a secret. Government, they worship an hour. They practice witchcraft to harness their power.